Hi, I'm Shane with eTrawler.com. Today you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Roadmaster dialed wiring kit on your 2018 Subaru Forester. Flat toe on your vehicle behind your RV is going to allow you to go to your destination, set up your RV, and leave your RV set up because you're going to have a second vehicle to go around town. There are five main components for a flat toe setup. You have your base plate, you have your diode wiring kit, you have your braking system, your tow bar, and your safety cables. Your base plate is going to attach directly to the chassis of the vehicle. It's going to give you a solid connection point for your tow bar. Your tow bar is going to be the attachment point from your base plate to your RV. Safety cables, they're going to be a secondary safety device in case your tow bar fails. Your braking system is going to sit inside the vehicle or mount inside the towed vehicle and it's going to allow the vehicle to not only slow but stop itself so we're not relying on the brakes in the RV to do both. Our wiring, that's going to allow our Subaru to receive light functions from our RV so that we're safe when we're flat towing and people know what we're doing, whether we're braking, turning, or driving at night. Now there's a possibility of a sixth component that's going to be needed depending on the wiring system that you're using. If you're installing a diode wiring kit, it's going to require a brake light relay. The relay attaches to the brake light wire inside the vehicle and it keeps your brake light signal from overriding your turn signal. If you're installing a bulb and socket kit, you're not going to need the brake light relay. But keep in mind, you are going to have to drill a hole in the back of your tail light housing to get the bulb installed. And with these tail lights, there's not a whole lot of room to do that. There's going to be a few different options for wiring for your Subaru Forester. With each one of these wiring kits, it's going to allow your vehicle or your Subaru Forester to receive light functions from your RV while you're flat towing. So you're not only legal, but you're safe. Other drivers are going to be able to see what you're doing, whether it's turning, braking, or driving at night. One set is going to be your magnetic lights. They're going to mount to the top of the vehicle. You're going to have wires that run outside the vehicle to the front to give you those light functions. Keep in mind with having magnetic lights, um, you are going to have to remove them off the vehicle each time when you're done flat towing and you're going to have to find somewhere to store them. Diode wiring is going to attach to the factory wiring behind the tail light. The diodes are going to protect that wiring from any back feed, whether it's from the RV or from the vehicle, if there's any uh, wiring issues. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk through the installation together. It's going to be easier to install the wiring right after you install your base plate uh, while you have the fascia removed. We're going to start here at the front. We're going to take our wiring and you can see here I just taped it a little bit hanging out here. I ran it up into the engine compartment. Right here. I bundled a little bit up here because I'm going to have to tie into my braking system. Ran it down right next to the firewall down to the bottom. So I came down right here. You want to make sure running it, stay away from anything moving or hot. Went over top of this panel. Took a Phillips screwdriver, popped this out, this one here, and pulled down this edge, took my wiring, tucked it up underneath, put the fasteners back in. Back to this panel. I just took it and tucked it up over the top. There's a bracket right here. I went behind it. Went all the way up. Because this moves, there's a bracket right at the top up here. I went over top of that bracket, make sure my wiring stays up out of the way. And I actually added some wire loom right here, just because it's hanging out. I went here, rather than coming over the top, I went back behind this panel, back behind this fastener. I added a little bit of wire loom there because I didn't want the wire to rub, or the metal to rub a hole in the wiring. Right back behind this panel, on my driver's side, and then I took my wires and I split them apart all the way up to that section. Now what we'll do is we'll remove our tail light. We're gonna take our brown, yellow, and white wire and we're gonna feed it up behind our fascia to our tail light housing. To remove your tail light, take a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna move that bolt and this bolt. We're gonna pull back. down that green tab and pull them apart. Then we need to remove the tape covering our wires. 
Then we need to test our wires to determine which ones we need to use for our running light signal and our brake and turn signal. On this vehicle, uh, this is a three wire system. Your turn signal is gonna be amber, running light signal is here, and then your brake light signal is here. We are going to combine the brake signal as our brake and our turn signal instead of using this one. It's gonna be the same on both sides of the car. Blue wire is gonna be your running light signal. Brown is going to be your brake light signal. Now we're gonna take our brown, yellow, and white wire. We need to get it up behind the fascia. I'm using a pull wire or an airline tube. Uh, if you have a wire hanger or something like that, it's anything with a little bit of, that's a little stiff that you can feed down there. We'll take our three wires. I'm gonna tape them right onto whatever I'm using. We'll pull them up just like that. It's a good idea. Whatever you're using, go ahead and push it back down through the hole or behind the fascia because we are gonna have to uh, send one of our wires back down as a jumper wire to go over to the other side. We're gonna start with our white wire. This is gonna be our ground. We're gonna cut it. Strip it back. Add the ring terminal that comes in your kit. Take the self-tapping screw that comes in your kit and we're gonna ground it right here. We're gonna start with our uh, brake and turn signal. It's our brown wire. We're gonna cut the wire in half. These wires are pretty thin. Strip back a little bit extra, and we're gonna double them over. That way we have good contact. We'll take two spade connectors from our diodes. We'll add one on each wire. Take your diode. Single side goes down towards the plug. Other side goes up. Diode recompletes the circuit. Take our yellow wire, cut it to length, add in another connector, take this, plug it in right there. Now we'll do our running light signal. This one's going to be just a little bit different. Cut our blue wire. Strip back both sides like we did the other one. Add on the blue spade connectors. Same thing with your diode, single side towards the plug. We're gonna take our brown wire, we're gonna cut it to length, except the part we cut off is gonna be our jumper wire to go over to the other side. Now we're gonna strip back two ends. On one of your diodes, you're gonna have a yellow spade connector like this. Connect it onto the diode. We'll take our wire, put it into whatever you may be using, and that'll get it back down to bottom. Once you're done hooking up your wires, the back of the diodes are going to have some sticky tape on them. What I like to do is peel off one, stick my diodes together like that, and then maybe run a zip tie around them. Then we can reinstall our tail light. Then you need to run your green and your brown wire across over to the passenger side. What I did is ran it right behind the fascia. Um, over here on the driver's side, my wire kept wanting to fall out in this corner. So what I did is I tucked it up and ran a zip tie through these two holes to hold it up. It's ran right up in here, right along this back side. Your exhaust, you wanna make sure you stay away from it. Right here, pull wire I had down uh, same method we did over there to get our wires up. 
and pulled our wires up to the tail light housing. Our brown wire, um, it wasn't quite long enough to make it up to where our diodes are. They do include a buck connector. You can take either yellow wire or white wire and make your extension. Uh, if you are gonna have to do this, I recommend a heat shrink buck connector. It's really gonna help the connection there from moisture, help keep it from corroding. For our diodes, again, we have the same colors over here. Blue is your running lights, brown is your stop and turn signal. You're gonna connect them the same way you did over there. The only difference is gonna be you're gonna have two more blue connectors for here. You're gonna have a single brown wire instead of a double going into your running lights. Green wire goes into your brown wire or brown diode. Once you've had all your connections made, go ahead and reinstall your tail light. Now what I'm gonna do is, um, before I install my fascia and get any other components put in, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my six pole plug just to test out my wiring. And then I'll remove this uh, before I put my fascia back in. On the back of the plug, everything is going to be marked. TM for running lights, GD for ground, LT left turn, RT right turn. You want to make sure, don't take these screws out all the way, because they're pretty small. You can use a Phillips or a flathead. I would say use a flathead. Uh, these, the Phillips heads on these tend to strip out a little bit easy. Like that. Start with my right turn. I'm going to make sure when installing these plugs that the coating on the wire is not down in the hole. You want the bolt or the screw to make contact with the wire. So when you screw it in, it's not causing any interference. Left turn, yellow wire, white wires are ground, and Brown wire is our running lights. Just like that. Now we're gonna test out our wiring using an alternate power source. This is gonna simulate being hooked up to your RV flat towing your vehicle. Tail lights, left turn, brake lights, right turn. Now that we've tested our wiring, we're gonna go ahead and remove our plug. If you're gonna be adding any other components like a braking system, it's a good idea to do it while your fascia is off. Once you've reinstalled your fascia, go ahead and reinstall your plug. Again, I'm Shane with HR.com. I hope this video has helped you, whether you're still deciding or installing the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit on your 2018 Subaru Forester.